Today, we are going to study Domain 3B, using questioning and discussion techniques. Thank you for bringing snacks. You are welcome. I understand that this component is the only instructional strategy specifically referred to in the framework for teaching. Questioning and discussions are used as techniques to deepen student understanding, rather than have students recite what the teacher has said. Good questions tend to be divergent, rather than convergent. This means that we are asking students to think for themselves and teachers are open to multiple answers, even sometimes giving ideas the teacher had not thought about. Questions are framed in such a way to formulate hypotheses, make connections, and even challenge previously held views, are considered good questions. So let me get this correct. High quality questions promote thinking by students, encourage them to make connections among concepts or events previously believed to be unrelated. Yes, and students are able to arrive at a new understanding of complex material. Class discussions are animated, engaging all students in important content and using the discussion format as a technique to deepen knowledge. In my class, students often ask even more thought-provoking questions when given this forum of learning. Allowing time to think, also helps the depth of conversation. We must remember. Not all questions should be at the high cognitive level for a teacher's performance to be rated at a high level. This is when exploring a topic a teacher might begin with a series of questions of low cognitive challenge to provide a review, or to ensure that everyone is on the same page. In addition, if questions are high, and only a few students participate in the discussion, the teacher's performance cannot be judged at a high level. If my students are working in small groups, and the discussion level is high, can that be considered in this component? Yes, since you have structured your class to promote this learning, of course. What are the specific elements in Domain 3, B? The quality of the question or prompt is one element. When teachers ask only a few questions, allow students time to think about their response, time to reflect on the comments of their classmates. Students become deeper thinkers when teachers ask quality questions and then give time for students to discuss. Discussion techniques are another element in this component. In a true discussion, a teacher enables all students' views to be heard on a topic. And this technique enables students to engage in the discussion directly with one another, not always mediated by the teachers. Some of my students will dominate the discussion. Okay, experienced teachers use a range of techniques to ensure that all students contribute to the discussion and enlist the assistance of students to ensure this outcome. How are these observed? The observer listens for questions of high cognitive challenge, formulated by both teacher and students. Questions may have multiple correct answers, and the discussion is sustained by the students as the teacher steps out of the center to a facilitator role. And they will also look to see high levels of student participation in the discussion. Thank you so much for our discussion today. Domain 3B is much more clear.